Alpha from Bicycle is a light strategy game in which three to six players can play. It takes about 45 to 60 minutes and is for ages 10 and up. And what you're doing is you're gathering a wolf pack. Each player is going to get a den as well as a token that will allow them to fight or share. And the reason they're going to be doing this is because they're going to be trying to go for animals throughout the game. Are you going to be hunting the illustrious moose or are you going to go for something a little more reasonable and try and get the fish? All the different packs are going to have food and you'll have to decide do you want to spend food to try and gather the stronger animals basically using stamina or do you want to simply go and try and gather the easier ones to get or even just simply scavenge for berries now of course everybody else is also competing so players are sending their pack wolves out and attempting to gather certain animals becoming the dominant pack in each of these specific groups and hopefully bringing back the gold and the gold is meat of course and you're going to be rolling these die for each of these packs and scoring value but of course with dominant packs comes other dominant packs and so players are going to be doing this prisoner's dilemma style mini game in this game which is involved in which players will either choose to fight or they'll choose to share and they don't know what they want to do but if they choose to fight and the other person chooses to share they're going to win everything so it has this kind of back and forth and do you want to work together or is it better to just take everything and go for the gold regardless so we'll take a look at the game alpha the alpha by bicycle right down below i'll show you the components in the game a really simple overview as to how it's played because it's really easy to learn and then we'll come up and discuss my review here is the game the alpha Alpha by Bicycle and everything included. Of course, it plays up to six players. And so because of that, you're going to have six different player boards. Each player is going to have one of these tokens that they'll use to either fight or choose to share. There's an alpha token, which is going to symbolize the first player. Each player is going to get six wolves, five on their board, one on this stone, and a double wolf that is going to count as two wolves, which will also go in their den. There are the other three players here. We're not utilizing these, so we'll go ahead and move them off to the side. This is the main board of the game in which you'll see the food tracker or as well the points tracker for the wolves or players as they move across this board. This is the area in which you'll be placing injured wolves and then where they're going to go to heal. Each of these plaques here are basically prey in which you're going to try and attempt to uh, dominate and take all of the food for. You have livestock here, which can only have a max of one wolf regardless of who puts it down. There's the scavenger areas in which one wolf per pack can place on each of these. And then you're going to have the near forest creatures, hare, beaver, and fish, the deep forest creatures, bison, moose, caribou, elk, and deer. Whenever placing down below here, just have to follow the requirements here. And when placing up here, it will cost you a food. Remember, this track is points and food. So when you want to place up, you have to move your wolf down. Go ahead and place your week's left marker on the fifth round. Because as the weeks progress or as the rounds go, you're going to be moving this marker down up until it reaches zero, which is where the game ends and you'll tally up the score. Now, that's pretty much the entire setup for the game. How you're going to be playing the game is you're going to go through a certain number of phases, but before you do that, you're going to determine how many players you're playing. And in a three-player game, it says you're going to have two medium types of uh, these critters here. You're going to have uh, two small, and then you're going to have uh, one, one scavenge. Okay, so one scavenge, uh, two small. These are the medium, so two medium. And I guess you're going to have... Let me see, any one large? No, no large in a three player game. So you actually remove both of these. But we'll just go ahead and leave one just to show you. So then we've removed basically what we need to remove. We've kept the rest. We're going to move on to the, the phases, in which case the alpha is going to go first. There is five phases in the game. You have the stock phase, dominance, chase, resolve, and advance. During the stock phase, players are going to simply go back in, for, or go in a clockwise order, placing these guys down onto either the lower near forest animals, scavenge or livestock area, or in the deep forest area. And like I said before, when you place in the deep forest, you're simply going to spend a food. Now, the way it works is this player here is the alpha. He's going to start. He'll go on the fish area. That's free. The next player is going to go into the caribou. That's going to cost them a food. The next player is going to go on maybe the livestock area, and it's going to keep going in a circle. So this player is going to keep going here. This player will go over here, spend another food. This player is going to go over here and spend a food and rinse and repeat, right? Until eventually everything has been placed on all of the boards. And let's just go ahead and give you a synopsis of what something like this might look like if everybody had placed uh, all of their pieces down. So here, 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 and 
right here. Okay, so everybody's placed them down for the stock. Now you're gonna establish dominance. And the way that works is you're gonna determine who is the dominant player in each of the different areas here. And you'll start with the top left, uh, and then you're gonna go all the way around the board. In this case, there are three wolves in each of the, in this area, and they're from three different players, in which case all of these guys are dominant. Uh, then you're gonna go over here, and you're gonna establish that the yellow player is dominant for the elk. In this area here, you have to have um, more than four wolves in the four wolves in the region in order for this to actually function, and it does because you have two, four, and you have five here because these are double wolves and they count for two. So you're gonna establish that the red has dominance here. This is the livestock area, in which case like, only one wolf can be placed. The scavenger area, each of these wolves are going to instantly get one. Doodle doodle doo. And then over here you have a dominant pact this for this one, and then this one is a dominant pact here. After that, you're then going to do a chase phase in the game. And the way the chase phase works is the dominant player in each of the areas is going to roll a die. If there are no wolves in a region, you just won't roll the die. After that, then you're going to get a result for each of the different areas, and I'll explain how they all work. Some are going to be better than others, and of course there's a little bit of randomization to it. Additionally, if for instance you get a roll you don't like, the other dominant player will have an opportunity to re-roll that specific die. If not, you keep what you get. Chase phase is then over, and now you're going to go to the resolve phase, in which case you're going to set aside any of them that are co conflicting, and the conflicting is basically those players who have the multiple dominant packs, so in which case ties. If there's any spaces with ties, you'll set that aside. The rest of them will simply gain the benefit. Yellow has more here, C7, seven is the amount of points, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. C means that this is going to turn into carrion, which means that next round it'll be worth seven. Then after that, this space over here, red is gonna be successful, but it's gonna get nothing, so. Good job, Bison got away basically. Livestock, now this player could have gotten 12 or three points, but instead ended up getting a death. <laughs> so basically the, the farmer shot this character, in which case this is removed from the game. So you gotta be careful if you wanna go to this space here. Scavenge, each of these players got their one point for being on this space. And then here's another tie. And then over here, uh, X and green. So green gets to go zero, but if it was three, then he would have moved up three points. So that's how those work. Then we move on to the last phase of the game other than just the cleanup, which is the reconflict phase, in which case we're going to basically be looking at each of these spaces here that have ties and we're going to be resolving them. And these are the only two spaces that are basically tied for dominance. And the way it works is the prisoner's dilemma. You're gonna be taking these, these pieces here and choosing to either fight or to share. And the dominant packs are going to be the ones that get to choose to do so. You'll hide these under the table, and then you're going to resolve them. If everyone chooses to fight, no one gets anything, and everybody's wolf gets injured. If you choose all share, then everybody splits the food as evenly as possible. And then if one person chooses fight, no one else chooses fight, that player will win. And if two choose fight or more, then they're all going to fight each other, and the person who shares is going to get everything. And you'll do that for each of the spaces. After that, you'll take all your pieces back, you'll move the weak track over, and you'll rinse and repeat the phase cycle I just explained, up until the point where it gets to the last week, in which case you'll check the board to see who has the most points. If you go all the way past the board, you're just simply gonna put your wolves back at the beginning, lay them down, and then continue along the track, counting as a bonus of 30. That's the game, let's talk about it up above in my review. So that in a nutshell is the game, The Alpha by Bicycle. Now the only thing I really didn't explain is there's injuries and then there's healing area here. Basically when your character or wolf gets injured, you'll put them on the space. So they're gonna be out around. That's basically how it functions. And of course it's costing you. The game is a prisoner's dilemma aspect in which the prisoner, you know, you have the two prisoners that both have to go to, to jail, right? And you put them in separate rooms and the cops go to one of them and go, oh, the other guy's already been talking about you. And if you don't spill the beans now and confess to him, you're gonna go to jail. Jail. And then, of course, they're doing the same thing to the other guy. And so each guy has the opportunity to either say, oh, I'm, I'm going to blame it on my partner, or B, they say nothing and they be quiet, and both of them be quiet. Now, in general, the Prisoner's Dilemma, the best option is always to say nothing or to choose to share. It's always the most beneficial option to do the best thing possible for everyone. The problem comes in the conflict, just like in the Prisoner's Dilemma, where you can say, well, I could escape, right? And I could get away with this scot-free, but if I say nothing, 
and my opponent says something, I lose everything. I go to jail forever. And in this case, it's the same thing. You're going to lose all of the points if they choose to fight. But if you both choose to share, you'll both get something. Because what happens if you both choose to fight, neither of you get anything, which is a lifetime sentence in The Prisoner's Dilemma. And so it has that interesting interaction. And a lot of games have that interaction. And this one, I think, works really, really well for the type of game this is. Not only that, but based on how you choose to place your different wolves out will determine whether or not you have to have that interaction, and with how many players. The game is quick, and it's very, very simple. You're going to be placing your wolves down, you're going to be rolling the die, dominant packs to get all the stuff. If there's a tie, have a conflict, and then players are going to simply go ahead and use their conflict tools to resolve it, in which case, Hopefully you get either everything or share because getting nothing is the worst case scenario in the game It's a swingy game. It's random Sometimes you'll roll these die here and you're gonna get nothing other times You'll turn the food into carrion and then sometimes if you're not careful You'll try and be nice and share and your opponent will be aggressive and fight in which case you'll get nothing So you have to kind of be aware that the game is gonna swing in one round You'll get nothing or even less points because as you know Like I said before if you go up on the top portion of the board It's gonna cost you food in order to place there Which means you can't be overly aggressive if you were already aggressive last round because you no longer have the points at the beginning of the game so you have to kind of weigh your victory points at the start of the game, which is interesting. I've never seen a game that does that because you have five victory points to start with, which you can use basically as food to place up at the top to gather the best resources possible. Like this bison here is so good, but if you don't roll an 11 or a 20, you get nothing and you've spent all of the food in order to do so. There's also the bonus wolf here, which is two wolves. It counts as one placement, but uh, it also counts as two wolves when checking for dominance. And that piece is an integral part to your strategy. Do you want to use it early to establish dominance and to push people away? Or do you want to save it to the very end, which is what a lot of people like to do. They save that wolf to the very end, that double wolf, and they drop it down, steal dominance. This game is aggressive. If you do not like aggressive games, regardless of how like family friendly it may look, it is aggressive. You're going to be attempting to not only screw players in the first round by gathering these certain animals that you want from them and avoiding them from getting the animals or stopping them from getting the animals, but then even if they do manage to tie you, now you have another opportunity to screw them over again by simply utilizing the little fight or the little share icons, these guys here. And while this is a very fun mechanic in games, it can be pretty ruthless in playing with certain people who are not good at losing or good at people allowing you to lie are going to give you some major distrust for the rest of the game. If you tell somebody you're going to share and then you do not share, that player is going to be pissed off the next round and the round after that. Much like Cosmic Encounter where you're saying, oh yeah, I'll help you do this and that. And then all of a sudden you drop some cards down that totally change the game to where you're thinking you're going to help and share and all of a sudden you're not. I think Cosmic Encounter does a very good job of the Prisoner's Dilemma as well in a far more complex and strategical way. This one here is a very simplified version of that for fans families. It's a light game, light to medium game, and it is highly enjoyable. If you don't mind the luck-based die, which you're rolling for the animals, you don't mind the packs having uh, the extra the extra double, so players can kind of swoop in on you, and you also don't mind the prisoner's dilemma mechanic in the game, then you're going to really enjoy this. In fact, most of these mechanics I really, really like. Uh, the only thing, of course, in this game is if you go first, it's going to be the person who has the most points, right? And the alpha is going to pass every round. If you go first, then you're kind of at a semi-disadvantage in some ways, meaning that players are going to be able to counter your every move, but also you're at an advantage as far as placing dominance to make other players push away from wherever you're going. So if you are going first, you have to really think very strategically. That means that you might not want to win at the very beginning of the game, and maybe you want to come out as a secret little, uh, I don't know, you might want to come out just at the very end there. On um, the livestock, this is the last one I want to talk about. You're using this is, is very, very dangerous. Yes, you can get 12 points or even three, which is okay, but in any other result, you're going to lose a wolf for the rest of the game. This is something I would suggest you do at the very end of the game if you're behind and you're looking for a Hail Mary. 
in which case maybe you'll get that 12 points and win, but otherwise avoid it. Another interesting thing is you're going to have the scavenge tokens, uh, scavenge ones, which give you one point and no conflict. So you never fight on these spaces ever, just like you wouldn't fight in the livestock space because only one wolf is ever presented there. So wolves here kind of gathering at the watering pool and just gathering a free point. These can make the difference in the game. I really, really enjoyed the Alpha. I think this is probably my favorite game from Bicycle so far. I haven't played their other one that's out. Uh, the embargo just lifted for this game probably a, couple, a day or so ago. So I'm going to be putting this one out fairly soon. So you guys get to see this brand new game by Bicycle that you can go ahead and check out and purchase in the link in the description down below. Overall, excellent artwork, high quality boards that are thick, the die are nice, and they have different colors that function with the different boards. All of the meeples, or I should say wolfles, Weefles, waffles are really, really great as well. And everything feels good. They did a great job of the insert inside of the box as well as how the box feels. This was excellent production quality with a very nice set of uh, packing set up. So it's very easy to put together, put up and set up and whatnot. I really like the alpha. Take a look down below if this game interests you. I strongly encourage you to do so, provided you don't mind, uh, you don't mind uh, having a little fight or sharing action going throughout the game.